Hello. Welcome to my channel, My Honey's Crafts. And this is Deborah. I changed my channel name. Yay! A name. Well, actually, I didn't. My husband did. Supports me in my crafts, whether it be sewing, paper crafting, painting, whatever. He's my number one supporter. So my channel's name now is going to be My Honey's Crafts. I made a birthday card and anniversary card. And here is the birthday card. I really liked how it came out. I used a pink cardstock. I put paper on top that I got at uh, Joann's. This is the same paper, my 12 by 12. I added a Jen Hatfield die cut and it's uh, dimensional. And then I fussy cut the, the butterfly and the flowers from another paper that I had. I, ca I can't remember right now. And you open it up. It says, Happy Birthday. I die cut some flowers right here. I added that to the little gate. I put some bling. And you open it up. And I stamped a flower and I colored it with alcohol markers. And I, I really like the way it came out. So that's my birthday card. Next is an uh, anniversary card. And I used some Valentine paper. I love the way this came out. It has the Eiffel Tower love. I punched out these heart, these two hearts, and I put them on a uh, dimensional, oh, um, um, I mean um, foam dot. Added some bling right here, matted it, and on the back, says so in love and I said how appropriate is that and then I, I did two hearts down here little Jimmy's right there hearts the church is getting ready to give her a, a bridal shower a baby shower so I bought this paper to make a card this says tiny feet I thought it was real cute I got an old envelope you know I'm recycling envelopes from the mail and this all comes, these three items come from one uh, envelope. Put a napkin on it. I mod podged it. And I cut it with some, some zigzag scissors up here. It's a, a little pocket that you can put in your uh, junk journal or any journal you want. Here's another one that I made. And I left the ends ragged, torn. I went ahead and it has a little flap to open it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and put some some glue right here, you know, to glue it shut like that. And then here's another one from the same envelope. It was a long, you know, a long envelope. And this is going to be, uh, it's a little pocket too that I mod podge, mod podge. And then I added, I collaged. And this one, can you see the dragon? He's right there. That just turned out. I didn't do that on purpose. I just stuck that paper on there and I kept on looking at it and I said, hey, that looks like a dragon. So I thought that was pretty cool. You can put something in there, kind of tight. And then I saw on, um, I believe it was Al John, a YouTube channel, and she makes envelopes from book pages. And there's all different sizes. And these are very, very easy to make. You don't need a die. You just, she shows you how to fold it. When I do a video, I'll link her channel. And they are so cute. You can put them in your junk journals. You can embellish them. I haven't embellished them. I think scrapbook paper would be a little bit harder just because the stiffness of the of the paper. This one's tiny. You can ink it up, distress it. It cuts out little words and, and stuffs them in here in the envelope. I got addicted to making these. So look how tiny. You, you can make them very tiny. I mean, very, very tiny. Then 
I ordered from, I think it's called 12 by 12 cardstock shop. Yeah, it is. And I ordered enamel dots from Doodlebug, some sprinkles. I ordered this blue and I ordered this green. I had a hard time finding this Mylar paper and it's Basil Basics paper. Sorry for the glare, whoopsie. I guess you would call this yellow. Okay, that's the yellow. I ordered two yellow. Ordered rose, pink. Pink, I ordered two pink. Pearl, I ordered this pearl. Ooh. Sorry about the glare, y'all. And blue. Oh, and vellum. I ordered vellum. Anyway, I needed a 12 by 12 vellum paper. I ordered this yellow dots, vellum paper, yellow polka dots. Got two of that, and I got two pink. Okay, so that's enough of making you go blind. So I got this at Dollar Tree. I like these zip envelope. So I can put some stuff in there. Got this at Dollar Tree. It's a unicorn poop lip balm for my granddaughter that lives here in Bastrop with us. I thought that was cute. So like that. Puffy molded stickers I got at 35. I got at Dollar Tree. Pinks, greens, yellows, very pretty. I got these wood beads, 125 piece. Also got this, wood beads, like a square wood bead, I guess, in pink, green, purple, yellow, and blue. Follow your dreams. I like this purple bag. Then from scrapbook.com, yay, I got to order a die punch. I get to try that out. And then with my scrapbook.com, they sent this free Saturday afternoon by One Canoe 2. It has a bunch of die cuts in it. 40, 40 piece die cut. Then I ordered this off of Amazon. It's vellum adhesive. I'm gonna see how this works. Oh, and it's refillable, cool. Then a while back, I went to Tuesday morning. This is a rebuy, Bow Bunny pocket cards. There are different types. It's six pieces, so I guess there's, okay, that's two, four, and six, two of each. I got Bow Bunny Brads. This is from the Harmony, from the collection Harmony Brads. I love that dragonfly. This is Sweet Clementine. I have a collection upper pad. I think I have ephemera. I'm pretty sure. I have stamps. Beautiful butterflies. Bow Bunny. This is Beautiful You. I think that's what it's called. Beautiful You. B-E-E. -E. Beautiful You. I want to get the paper. The paper is so pretty. I saw the brads and I said, I'm getting the brads. See, B-U. B-E-E. B-U. That's cute. And then this is Bow Bunny Layered Chipboard. Butterfly Kisses. I don't think I've seen the paper pad there at uh, Tuesday morning. The mason jar. Full of love. Bliss. Be fabulous. Just very pretty. I love Bow Bunny. I got a stencil brush. A thick stencil stencil brush. This was on clearance. A sponge. Stencil tools for 74 cents. Oh, they're in the shape of a... they're in that shape. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six for 74 cents. I got a stencil show-offs. This was $2.99. has different... four different stencil patterns. And I finally found tassels. I've been going like 
for two weeks in a row. This was $249, regularly $10, $9.99. It's a beautiful blue. I got this for $249, a white, a blue, and then a darker blue. They're regularly $10 also for $249. It has a little pom-pom on top. It already has the hook for you to, I think you call that a lobster claw? I'm not sure. I'm learning all this stuff. It's new to me. Here's another blue one or aqua one. I got these for $1.49. They were regularly $6. And they have little gears in them. But they're in a, in a little ball like that. And then they have little gears. And then I got some, some more beads. These were $7 and I got them for $1.74. I want to do some Mandela art that I got this neon colors and they were all on sale at Hobby Lobby glossy blue and that pretty blue glow yellow glow green because they're supposed to glow it at night that's what my friend wants glow orange I'm gonna paint the rock black glow pink <clears throat> and use these colors and at night the paint the design is supposed to show up. So we'll see about that. She has got the Sizzix 10 sheets adhesive sheets. So when I'm die cutting some intricate pa patterns, I guess I can use it. Got the Sizzix Thinlets uh, Poinsettia. There's eight dies. It was $16.99 and I got it for $4.24. Then back to Dollar Tree, I got these birthday stickers. I got these Frozen stickers, these puffy Frozen stickers for Easter. I got round beads in pink, green, yellow, purple, and blue. I got another pocket. What is this called? It's a zipper document bag. These are snap closure envelopes. So they have a snap right there. I, got, I think I got two. Yeah, two for a dollar. I got one of these which is a coupon holder. And then I got a, well, I think this is my husband's. This is his real ruler. This is my husband's. <laughs> and I got some more stickers. This says thankful, flowers, a flower pot. I mean, a watering can with flowers, a hat. This says faithful. And remember, I'm changing my channel to my honey's crafts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up please subscribe share and comment i appreciate all your comments oh i did want to tell you something i was at uh, walmart i haven't found flour in like three or four days Elf was empty so i finished my shopping went to the checkout my stuff on the conveyor belt then i turned and i looked at this lady's basket and she had three bags of flour and i said oh you got flour? Desperation in my voice. Oh, you got flour? She goes, yes, they're, they're stocking it right now. I said, I didn't say anything. I looked back at the conveyor belt. I had to make a snap decision. She was finishing up the man's transaction ahead of me. Either I go and run and get a bag of flour or I stay there and don't get the flour and don't know how long I'll be able to get flour. So I looked back at her basket at the flour and I must have had this look on my face of desperation or panic or whatever. And she picked up a bag of flour and she handed it to me and she said, here, take it. I was just, I got this big old grin on my face. I know I did. And I said, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And she goes, I got three. Here, take one. And I said, oh, you have just blessed my day. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Be kind, stay positive, and be a blessing to others. Thank you for watching.